In this video, we're going to show you how to upload an existing VMware guest that you have into Bitrefinery's vCloud Director. Assuming that you've already created an OVF file using your vSphere tool, you're going to log in to vCloud Director. This is a sample customer that we have. From here, you're going to click on Catalogs. And you're going to create a catalog item in here. We've already created one called Uploads. And from here, there's an Upload option. So as it says here, you can select an OVF package from your local machine. We already have one called FTP2. We're going to select the OVF file. We're going to go ahead and name this. First thing it's going to do is validate the OVF package is valid. Then it's going to start transferring the files. This could take a while depending upon the upload speed of your broadband connection. Okay, our upload is completed and under the catalog section we now have our OVF file is uploaded. The status is resolved. Here's our name. We call it FTP VM. And over to the right here, we can see that it's taking 20 gig of space. So as of right now, this is just a catalog item. This will be stored under catalogs for this customer. At any time, I can right mouse click on this catalog item and say add to cloud. From here, we're going to go ahead and name this FTP. This is going to create a virtual machine. Down here we have different runtime leases. If I only want this virtual machine to run for an hour or a day, I could set that on here and the same applies for the storage. From here, the next thing is we're going to name the FTP, the, uh, the virtual machine. And here, give it a computer name. We'll just call it FTP, FTP. Also, this is where we would set our IP address for this virtual machine. I'm going to leave it blank because this is just a test. And the next is just going to hit click on finish. From here, this catalog item always stays under, in my catalog. If this is just a one-time conversion, once I verify that my new virtual machine has been created, I will probably come in here and delete this item because I'm using 20 gig of space in my resource pool. Now if I click on my cloud, I can see that my vApp, uh, my virtual machine under my vApp is being created right now. If I click on virtual machines over here, it is, says it's busy. And this usually takes about, depending upon the size of the virtual machine, maybe one, one and a half minutes long. And it'll say pending on here. Once this, um, once this completes here, you will be able to see the IP address and you'll be able to power it on as soon as it's complete. Thanks for watching.